Good morning. <laughs> morning. <laughs> well, I'd say good morning Vietnam then for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> this life's getting too much for you. Definitely. So, we obviously successfully accomplished our Oxford trip. And got back. And back, yep. Um, a couple of catastrophes, but not too bad. Boat's still intact. I was going to say intact. nothing major, but I suppose it was quite major. <laughs> but it's all sorted. Yeah. And we've decided now we're going to go into new uncharted territory. Because that's just the type of people we are. <laughs> you mean we came out of the marina and we turned left? We did, we turned left instead <laughs> of Not right. right. Oh my god, it felt so weird. <laughs> so we are aiming to get to Hampton Court. <laughs> so we've never been this direction before. We haven't been through Sunbury Lock, have we? We've been down no. to it and turned around and came back up. Just because we're nosy. <laughs> but we, we never went through it. No, we've never been through Sunbury Lock. Uh, we're gonna See how this trip goes. Yeah. Um, bank holiday. See the bank palace. holiday weather. Yeah, beautiful bank holiday. I was going to put my woolly hat on. It's still August. <laughs> um, yeah, and see see what this end of the river has to offer. <laughs> exciting. Definitely exciting times. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's see what we find. Yeah. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> So we've done Sunbury Lock and we've just literally gone through Molesy Lock. Massive lock. What did you say? It dumps 200,000 200, litres of water. Maybe gallons. Oh, yeah. Gallons. gallons, wow. Um, yeah, massive lock. 
should be filming that way. <laughs> oh, shut up, sorry. <laughs> anyway. I don't know what that is. What is that? Hampton Court Palace. There, look. Oh, that is actually Hampton Court Palace. Literally the story of our lives. We go, yeah, we go to this place. There's no moorings. All full up. How many? Loads of gaps. 220 feet of moorings, if not more. Lots of gaps. Walks are way too small for us. But if everyone had moved up again, we'd have easily got in. But uh, not today. Such a pain. And I mean, we're not. Half 11, quarter 12. Yeah. Quarter 12, all gone. It's mad, isn't it? Absolutely mad. Yeah. Um, yes, yeah, so I don't know where we're going to go now. Kingston. Oh. Maybe. Yeah. Probably well, we'll <laughs> Yeah. While we're at, you told me a very interesting story about because we saw a ferry um, back before oh. Molesy Lock. Um, really nice guy waved to us on the ferry, and then Richard told me a story about Shepperton Ferry. I didn't believe you. I thought you knew. I didn't know anything about it, so I think you need to share. Oh, you can. I've told you now. Oh, I can't remember. Oh, the, apparently it was originally built for Shepherds. the shepherd um, to take their sheep across to munch on a new bit of grass. Yeah. Um, and what was it? The condition was? I think it was one shilling. Oh, one shilling, what, to cross on to the ferry with, with your sheep. And then the shepherd had to clean up the poop. So as long as he didn't leave the poop, he, yeah. he was all right. So there you go, one shilling, take your sheeps across, yeah, in the words of Jeremy Clarkson, it's sheeps. Been, it's been there a long time. Yeah, didn't realise that. So there you go. It's a story of Shepparton Ferry. Even though we're in Hampton Court. Yeah. Well, it just made me think when I saw that other... That other... Ferry. The ferry man. Oh, my word, that was really difficult to say. Oh, God, <laughs> Right, let's see if we can find a mooring. Oh. Like always, we go, please, mooring gods, and then we don't get one, so I might as well give up. You have to do a mooring dance on the roof. I hope that works. <laughs> it was a little bit wimpy, wasn't it? Lunchtime, wasn't it? By the yeah, time we got there, it was, so, yeah, so we were probably that. a little bit late, really. Um, but it's quite confusing with moorings around there because they're sort of 
miles and miles of what would be perfect mooring slightly further up along um, the path, but there's one sign along that, I don't know, mile stretch. It's got, it's got to be longer than that, it must yeah. be about two miles. It's just one sign and one little says sign. sort of no mooring and nothing anywhere else, but it actually looks like mooring, so... That'd be a really nice mooring, wouldn't it? Yeah. Um, and the right side for the palace. So sometimes it's really confusing on the Thames. I think we've had people tell us you can't see a sign, then just more. Um, but you obviously don't want to do the wrong thing. Plus, so, they might patrol it and come and <laughs> kick us off. Yeah, but I suppose the worst that can happen is you get told to move. So it's We're not a it massive next problem. Time. Yeah. Um, so we ended up mooring. Um, well, Kingston really, just outside Kingston. Yeah. Again, in a slightly, weren't sure whether Can we were we? supposed to moor there Can or not. <laughs> no. um, there were lots of white signs along the walls, but they'd all been sort of scrubbed out, so literally they had no, no words on at all. Um, there were further up some clear, clearly marked mooring signs, um, but that was sort of quite full. Um, and other people were mooring where we moored, so we just, or risk it for a biscuit. What well, about in front? <laughs> so they'd been there for a week and nobody had come up. No. And staying for another week. A boat further back, apparently, had been there for three years. So, so we thought, well, that's, what's the worst that can happen? That's now going to be our spot every time we go fancy going into Kingston. Yeah, so, um, yeah, the, the, we didn't realise actually, because obviously Kingston again is sort of somewhere where you might go shopping, it's a good shopping centre. Massive, but, but yeah, but there are things to see as well. So um, we saw the um, art in installation by David Mack, um, Out of Order, which is a whole row of telephone boxes, red telephone boxes, which you don't really see these days. That was quite cool. Um, yeah, and sort of historic buildings, and um, and they've got like a, um, works of art, haven't they, around the yeah, town? Yeah, like That's a like trail that you trail. can download and go and do. Yeah. We found a few by mistake anyway, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Just wandering around like we normally do, getting lost, <laughs> finding little restaurants and alleyways, and it was, yeah, it was fun actually. Yeah. I have my favourite chicken katsu curry. Yeah, that didn't take much. <laughs> so, yeah, we think, um, well, there's going to be quite a few closures, isn't there, of locks over winter. So, yeah, I think first maybe. Of May, uh, First of November, isn't it? So I think maybe that might be um, the way for us to go. Yeah, we can't go turn our normal right because they're closing Penton Hooklock. Yeah. So there's nothing to see if we turn right, really. It's a short cruise through one lock and we're about done. Yeah. Uh, so I guess at least we could go some Christmas shopping. <laughs> as long as the weather's okay. Yeah, true. And the Thames isn't on any yellow warnings or anything daft, then we'll be going this way. Yeah having weekends down there. Stock up on wood. <laughs> Maybe actually get to more outside the palace if we get there a bit earlier and... Uh, well, I think we'll probably be the only boat down here. <laughs> yeah, well, we were going to take our little boat um, from Kingston to the palace to have a look, but the weather's just not oh, been, been great nice. at all. No. So, it's been um, miserable, as you can see, I've put me out on. Yeah. <laughs> I'm actually getting cold. I oh, know, it's a bit chilly, so, yeah. Didn't really fancy that, so we left it on the roof. Maybe next yeah. time.
know, like always, if you enjoy what we do, check a little like and please subscribe. It'd be most helpful. Thank you. Bye. Bye.